for less than $16. You guys can keep your viewers engaged longer by having the right angle for the GoPro. And if you stick around to the end, we'll show you our new windscreen. Let's dive into it. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from 3Cs Recreation. We've been upgrading our GoPro mounts lately as our channel grows. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing. And what we found is spending a couple dollars on these mounts has greatly increased the quality of our footage. Way more view of the bike. It's gonna keep viewers engaged longer. So this video is all about GoPro mounts and where to put them on the helmets. Let's dive in. So the first one that we bought was the Dango Designs. This is just a clamp style. It goes up over the bottom of the jaw of the front of the helmet. It works good on some helmets and it doesn't work so good on the others. So we have an Alpine Star, we have a Thor, and then we have a Fly Helmet. Obviously as a dealership, we have like 500 helmets in stock. And even like that Fox Helmet up front top there, it just might not work so well either. So it works great on my Alpine Star helmet. It clicks right on the front. It's got a great pad to click onto. It's super secure. It doesn't go anywhere. We have some footage of us riding with this mount and I'll show you that next. But then you can see like on the front of this fly helmet, this is my son's helmet. This, you've got such a, a void in the front and it's so pointy on the edges. It, it goes on and we have footage of him riding with it. It doesn't move at all. I'm just not super in love with it. So you can see, if you get close there, if I can make this slower. You can see like the gap that's in the back there. And I have some still pictures on food here now as well. Uh, third day when we were riding, so not a huge fan of the Dango on like the Fox or the Fly helmets. What's cool about the Dango is they give you this strap and we loop it around our chin strap and I'll also include a still picture. That way if this mount ever did come off, you just stick it in here like this and it loops it through. So that way if this ever did come off, it's still gonna, you still have it, you're not going backwards looking for your mount. So. This was a really cool option. It's really fast to change it from helmet to helmet. So if you have buddies, you're like, hey, where are my GoPro for a minute? While you do that, you can stick it on the bottom of their helmet. Just be warned that it doesn't fall off. It stays on. Like there's no way that that's gonna fall off. I'm just not in love with the way that it, it doesn't seat perfectly. This Thor helmet is the same as my um, Alpine Star. It's really nice. This is gonna give it a nice secure overall feel. I just love the way that that grips on there. And on the bottom, some of these have a really small chin curtain. It doesn't hurt them at all. So it just kind of holds it up, and pushes it up under. So this is the dangle mount. And here's some footage of us riding with this right now. This dango mount held the GoPro lower and it sounds silly but when this is on here it's really really hard to see any of the GoPro. I like to be able to at least see the corner of the box that way I know it's still in the front of the helmet. Obviously if it fell off I would feel it dangling from the strap but I, I just like to be able to peek down every 10 seconds and make sure that I still see it. Also with the dango if you if you turn down your head too far this could probably stab you a little bit in the chest. I'm a taller rider, so maybe maybe it affects me more than some of your shorter guys, but so the Dango has a little bit of a down, and you've got to be careful not to get stabbed with that. And like I said, it's a little bit harder to see out of the helmet. This is the next mount. This is uh, called Sherwoo, but there, I think there's a lot of different companies that are making this. This is just the one that we happen to purchase. There's different styles of this. I, I was really excited about this because I thought it'd be more secure. It clicks around the helmet. I got some still pictures on include right now of this as well. So this just clicks around the chin bar, really holds it on well. It's expandable material, so it'll it'll fit to every helmet. This was my favorite mount by far. It held the GoPro up just a little bit further in the, so I could see it better. And it really didn't matter. I have still pictures again, I'll include right now. It didn't matter where we held this up on, on any helmet. It overcame whatever kind of front styling the companies had on their helmet. So this was by far my favorite mount. It held the GoPro up higher. I felt it was more secure because it had these clips around the back. Clicks right in. So this is my favorite mount. This is only $14. 
We have some footage, we'll show you guys now of us with this mount on the helmet. last mount that we use is the top mount and I use this forever this is what I've always gone to but I'm six foot four six foot five and this was really tough to use a lot of hair scrambles I about got ripped off my bike and over the years I just kind of dealt with it and it really changed the way I would race I'd be coming through the woods and I'd be worried more about like how high is that tree rather than maybe the corner in front of me so not not a great thing to be worrying about when you're racing so and you can see in the top of even my new, this helmet's only six months old, you can see how many scratches are in the top of this helmet already just from ducking low under branches. So having a top mount GoPro is not great because you are so high off the bike. It is way up here. And we'll show the footage comparisons, but you lose all of the, all of the view of the bike. Like you don't get any of the controls, how the bike movement's happening. All you're seeing is the top of my visor and the trail, which, which is fun, but it's really not giving you guys like a first person view, like how hard the bike slammed into something. So the top mount is something I always use and I'm gonna go away from it all, all together. We're not gonna use it hardly at all anymore. They're already stuck on the helmet, so we'll stay with it on there. And also it depends on the brain of the helmet if you can even use this mount. So the Alpine Star is flat on top. We can use it there. My Thor helmets were always pretty flat. Oh, and some of these GoPro mounts are, are tapered. This one's flat, but they do make like a tapered mount. These ones all appear to be flat, but it kind of goes with the crown. So it gives it a better stick pad there. So it works good with the Thor. But if you look at my son's uh, fly helmet, it has a crown right in the middle. And so we've never stuck one on the top of his because you can see that it would never, it's never going to sit flat. There's like zero places for that uh, 3M tape to stick to. So. The top mount is no longer what we're going to use. We're going to stick purely with the front chin mount strap uh, or the dango on the front. If you're wondering about the weight on the front of here, it's minimal. I barely felt it. Even my son, I had him riding a little bit with on his YZ85 with this. He's uh, 11 years old. He barely felt the weight of the mount on the front of the helmet. It, it was minimal. We also like to use our GoPro quick app. So once you get the GoPro mounted into this, strap and you get it on the bike it's so important to get the footage and turn it so that way you know exactly where the camera's pointed so if if you're pointing too far down you're just going to get all bike and it's going to be really boring if it's too far back you're getting all sky so it's kind of a sweet spot you want to get a little bit of bike a little bit of handlebar and mostly the trail that way you see where you're going if you're looking down the, the guy your viewers are always like looking at the very top of the screen trying to see further so the GoPro quick app, it's free. You can connect it to your GoPro and it shows you exactly what the GoPro just saw. We're a huge fan of these mounts and the quick app. Some bonus footage for you guys is this windscreen that we invested in. If you look at our channel, when we were doing like bike reviews, we added a, a nice microphone system because we'd be outside, a big wind gust would come. You wouldn't hear anything I just said. So we upgraded that and we were always looking for something for the GoPro as well. And I'll include footage here in a second of with this screen and without this screen. And you'll notice like down these power line sections that are faster to third, fourth gear, there was so much wind noise coming into the microphone. It was hard to hear the bike or what was going on. But now with this, it really cleans that up nicely. This is like a $12 investment. You get two per pack. You just simply slide the GoPro in. It has all the cutouts so you can still control the GoPro. You can still mount it like you want to. The mount will come out the bottom. It doesn't really affect the view. I did have one time where this little mount or the little windscreen kind of came up and you can kind of see it out of the bottom corner of the footage. Not super exciting. So I think once you get it on and once you get it on your GoPro mount, just make sure that this is tucked down. It's not actually in the view of the lens. So huge fan of this for $12. Again, it's one of those things I should have been using a long time ago, but we weren't. And I also think it's going to give us some protection too. Like, when we're in a race and all the rocks are coming at us, I know it's not a ton and it's not really protecting the lens, but it'll kind of help protect the body as well.
Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Again, I'm Jared from Three Seas Recreation. Really appreciate you guys watching our channel. Our channel's really growing. It's awesome. So I thought it'd be time to invest in some better stuff and I really should have done this a long time ago. So hopefully if you're catching this video now, hopefully you guys make this is like $15. This is 11 and this is 50. It's really gonna increase your guys' GoPro footage. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the ride.